Mr. Zitzmann, reading trade journals and listening to conversations at the fair, it is obvious that safety technology is one of the most important topics in industry. What can MPS contribute to this? Mr. Falker, the MPS is the most widely used mechatronic training system for training mechatronics and automation technicians and engineers worldwide. It also offers the fast integration of additional training content. So this is a complete station. What sort of additional components do I need to train in safety technology? This is the handling station with electrical drives, in this case fitted with a safety door and an emergency stop switch. Two different safety relays and all of these components are described in the new catalogue. What does the teacher do with these things then? How can he design his training projects? A good introduction for the student can be the web-based training module Safety Technology in a multilingual version. The next is the workbook, the Safe Production Line. Using this, students can go from the design via FMEA to the integration of the components I explained in order to create a Safe Production Line. Okay, I have an overview of the safety production plant, but surely it has to be broken down a bit further. Of course, Mr. Falker. In any processes with powerful actuators, safety has to be considered carefully, just as in pneumatics. So, let's take a look at that. Here is the new TP250 safety in pneumatics, with which we can provide interesting training in safety to motivate students, like what happens when you hit emergency stop. But that's surely just one application that we can see here. What else can we do? The student learns step by step how to minimize risk on a scissor lift so that it remains safe in the case of, for example, pressure drop or electrical power failure. I have the impression that it is really important to know what happens when there is a pressure drop or power failure. And I think understanding this is vital for safety in industry. Thank you very much.